What's going on, everybody? Hi. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Abby. Hi. Hi. Anyways, uh, I, I'm on the side of the road. Look at this, we're just randomly in the middle of nowhere. Yep. She was close enough that I told her, I was like, hey, I need to meet up with you, Abby, because she's headed down south. There's a lot of noise happening right now. We're gonna get in her van, we're gonna show it off. We're gonna, uh, a lot, a more amazing story that you have. I think it's phenomenal. So you guys will wanna check this out. Yes, she's taller than me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put some heels on and it's all gonna be good. And we're gonna to get to know a lot about her and her van that she self-built, DIY, I love it. Everything, yep. Awesome, here we go. Hi, Abby. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you are- Never been here before. Never, neither have I. Yep. Where are you from? And what are you doing right now? Like, cause you're, yeah. yeah, cause you're not in your home state. I'm not. So I'm from Washington, born and raised in Chelan. Um, and yeah, I'm currently living out of my self-converted van. I've been living in it for one day now. I was supposed so. to say, come on, you have to say how long it's been. <laughs> well, I've technically been like living out of it for like three weeks, but that's been on and off. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm heading down to California, but I'm Why? Super Warmth. Okay, Washington you're chasing is, weather. Washington is miserable right now. It's like 15 <laughs> degrees. That, um, some of the van is like half done because okay. I was just in a rush to get out of there. All right. But yeah, I'm excited to be warm again. What What is this beauty of a van? Like, what's the make, model? Yeah. What do you got? So this is a 2017 Ford Transit 350. It had 54,000 miles on it when I got it. His name is Alex Vander. It's named what? Alex Vander. Alex Vander? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's my baby. Got him in September off Facebook Marketplace. So. Facebook Marketplace of all places. Of all places, yeah. Bought him the day it was listed. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Where was it originally? Uh, it was a touring vehicle in Alaska. <laughs> yes, you can see the bears on it. <laughs> it's a big old I haven't bear. Haven't them yet, but yeah. I got the bear? Them. So you're gonna keep the bear? Have, I haven't decided yet. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Bears on both sides, by the way. Both sides. Yeah, we got two bears. Yeah, I got it in Alaska, or not in Alaska. It's from Alaska. Got it in Seattle. Love it. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, did you? I didn't know if you said this. Did Did you say it was a, high, a mid roof? It's a mid roof. Yeah. Yes. yeah so, so it's a mid roof. And we've already stated that you're taller than me. I am. I'm five eleven. So. How's that, that going? Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Um. Yeah, get on in. So getting in the van. If I don't have shoes on, I can stand up perfectly right here. Boom. But I have to like duck a little bit. I have bad posture, so it works out perfectly. <laughs> oh my, don't, don't say that. Well, I yeah. mean, I'm just being honest. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it works for me. And I used to sleep out of my car a lot, a Subaru Forester. So this is like a mansion compared Wait to- Wait a minute, me. I want to get into that, but can you turn the lights on for me? Yes. Yeah, the lights in here are on a dimmer. Perfect. So they're t just 12 volt puck lights. Um, and before van life, you said you were in a Subaru Forester? Yeah, I did a lot of like camping, backpacking, and so my Subaru was like just something I slept in a lot. Very spacious compared to that, and I couldn't sleep, I couldn't spread out during it, so. In your Forester? In my Forester, yeah. Amazing. So, um, since, how, yeah. You did that, you weren't full time in a Forester, you were no. doing it camping, right? Just camping. And, and I you... slept in a tent a lot, I did a lot of tent camping. So. How was that? Really fun. I love tent camping. I yeah. still probably will do a lot of it in the van too. Do you have a tent with you? Yeah. I have all my camping backpacking stuff in the back of the van. It takes up a lot of space. Awesome. It's worth it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, kind of walk me through the van. Um, yeah. Start in the front and kind of work your way back. I kind of wanted to touch on this guy right here. Yes. Okay. So starting in the front, I yes. have my passenger seat, which is also a lovely hanger. Um, so Not a swivel. Not a swivel. I'm planning to put a swivel in, just haven't done it yet. It's on my list. Um, okay. But yeah, I will be putting a swivel in. So I've got my ukulele sitting here. I love it. Um, I have just a bag for running into the store or for like if I'm going to a friend's house, just a little bag. I have my laundry basket right here. Okay. It's from Walmart designer. And then in the front I have like my yoga mat and all my window covers in the front up there. And yeah. you did this build all yourself? Yeah. Well, you did it with I all. had some help along the way, like my dad teaching me to use tools because I had never put, picked up a drill before this, like literally nothing. I'm 19. And so this was like all completely new to Blasting me. Blasting your age too, look at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, I hadn't done anything like this before. My dad helped me learn how to use tools and once I got the hang of it, I just started building stuff. And my mom helped with like the cushions, the seat cushions, she upholstered them for me. And I did have like helping hands, um, you know, with cutting wood because I don't have a table saw. There was just little things that were helped with. But you literally, way. you really never picked up a tool, you said? Never, yeah. And this was your, this is, the, you, for somebody that's never picked up a tool, yeah, first this is a, built, an amazing yeah. thing that you've done. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, you know, be proud of yourself. This is amazing. I love this. You it's know? honestly been like the best learning experience. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm 19, I'm obviously not in college right now, but I feel like I've learned so much this year 
more than I would have if I would have gone to college this year. So. How rewarding was it? Like when you oh were like uh, towards the end, the last couple days, yeah. very rewarding feeling, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, the whole build has been, like I said, a learning experience, but also very frustrating at times. Um, a lot of tears? Lots of tears. Um, <laughs> the first time I actually cut the vinyl, so I have just stick on vinyl flooring, Okay. Um, which is just sheet vinyl. So it's just one sheet. First oh, it looks like planks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really nice. It was cheap from Lowe's and it works really well. It's super durable. It doesn't scratch. But when I first cut it, I cut it upside down. And oh. so I wasted like $100 and I just, tears. It was my first mistake of many. You know, honestly, I just learned how to be a little bit more tough. Toughen me up a little bit. That overwhelming feeling and then it's yeah. just all pouring out of you. Yeah. It's an emotional thing that people yeah. don't understand. The last day I ran into like a few problems and I feel like I had all this built up pension and just literally tears rolling down. But <laughs> It was a big release. I bet, yeah. I bet. Say the wheelbase one more time and I'm sorry that I'm asking yeah, you probably twice. Yeah, it's a 148 inch wheelbase. So it's a 2017 Ford Transit 148 inch wheelbase mid-roof. Mid-roof. I don't even know what the distance is from the seats to the back. It's about 11 feet. 11 feet. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's about like five foot seven from Across? here to here, yeah. Okay. Small space. You got the galley and you got an overhead cabinet behind you. Yes, so behind me I have my kitchen cupboard cabinet. Um, you can see it is pretty tall. Um, I had to make it that way to fit my fridge and what's under here, which we'll show you in a bit. But it fits perfect for me. I'm tall, like I said, so this is like perfect counter space for me. I'm also, I do a lot of work on my laptop, so it works as a standing desk if I don't want to sit down in the van. Oh, pretty cool. Which I love. And then right here, I have oops, a window back here that opens which is kind of sticky, but. D did you install that window after the fact? Is that an aftermarket window? Aftermarket window. It's from Van Windows Direct. Oh, um, I love them. They're amazing, yeah. yeah. And so I got it and I had someone else install it for me for like hundred bucks, um, cause I just didn't oh, want to do it myself. So they just took that the other window off, put that one in and I love it. Um, this screen comes off of there. So if I want to shower in the van, I can just turn this around and stick the sink <laughs> nozzle out the window. Yeah. Outdoor shower. So the stuff that you didn't want to do yourself and you hired somebody, how did you find these people? One, mostly Instagram. I like would put out something like said, hey, does anybody do like window work? Or does anybody know how to install a heater? Like on your stories? On my stories. And okay. people would slide up saying, hey, like I know this guy who does window work at Wenatchee. He probably, he does it on the side. Um, he could probably install that for you. I know a guy that knows a guy that can help you. Exactly. It's, it's one of those I things. The person I bought my heater from, I got my heater on Facebook Marketplace actually. The person I bought my heater from knew a guy who would install it for me. So, so didn't what? install the heater either because that was just too daunting of a task. And it, I didn't it want is. to blow up my van. What kind so. of heater do you have? I didn't even ask you that one before. I have a Webasto Airtop 2000. Oh, so nice. I love it. It's amazing. Amazing. I and love it so, so much. you have the the gas one because you have a gas tank. Got yeah, you. It's connected to my van's gas tank, so it's so nice in the winter. I've stayed in here when it was like 10 degrees outside in Washington, snow all around me, and stayed like got too warm in here. I had to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I always suggest that heater as a budget heater, not a yeah. budget, but like a yeah. the, the most inexpensive nice heater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. Um, high countertop. <laughs> high countertop. Yeah. High countertop. It's got to be 40 inches. It's yeah. It's about. 48 and three quarters. Is it really that high? Yeah. Oh my God. But like for me, like I said, it it's works. Perfect. For someone shorter, we might have to have a stool. I have a lot of short friends, so we'll see how that works out. But it fits everything I need. Um, perfectly so i love it what is up with the upper cabinet not having a face on it oh i'm glad we're addressing that <laughs> <laughs> so basically i uh had this friend who wanted to help with the build he said he wanted to build the cabinets for me he builds cabinets for a living and so i was like yeah heck yeah i want help on the build so we came up with the plan for the cabinets and all that there was a miscommunication i said i wanted cabinet doors he thought i wanted face frame ah. so that's where that it happens. You know, nothing has really fallen out of there except my gummies right there. Um, <laughs> but everything in here is plastic, so except this glass, I'm hoping that doesn't fall out. Yeah, and I have a bungee, so it works. It's, it's working. And I might, you know, I might redo them in the future. But... Fig vine, I love it. Exactly. It's, it's all yeah, good. Can't take care of a real plant. This is the only real plant I have in here. Is that, that, that is a real plant. Yeah, it's pothos. You've got this galley. You said you want to show what's under there. I don't yes. know what even that is. So down here, I this have my Dometic uh, CRX50 fridge. So. Look at you giving the names of everything. I love this. Thank yep. you so much. I got spring rolls. I got <laughs> coffee creamer. I don't have much in there yet, but that's okay. Yeah. So I've got you, that. Did, you did tell me you were going to go food shopping today. Did you go? I no, I went thrift shopping though. Okay. I got some cute pants. <laughs> the pants you're wearing right now, you just got. I just thrifted, that's yeah. funny. I love thrift shopping. So, and then under here, this is makeshift. Don't judge me for this. This is just a curtain I cut up. I'm not judging you at all. But this is my audience day. might probably whatever go easy on me my nature's head composting toilet and it just rolls out like this. The, what's funny about 
your nature's head. By the yeah. way, nice, nice uh, composting. Mm -hmm. um, and you're so comfortable that you're leaning right on your composting. I love it. Number one, how can we find you? Uh -huh. But number two, how did you get certain products? Because how yeah. you told me was really interesting. Yeah, so I am on TikTok, um, Abigail Martin with two eyes in the Martin. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then I'm on Instagram. I'm making a YouTube channel soon, but I honestly just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. But that'll be Abigail Martin too. Everything is just Abigail Martin. Yeah, on TikTok, basically, people were wanting to contribute for the van once I started making van build videos, and I didn't want people sending me money for it. That just kind of felt off to me. So they were like, create an Amazon wish list. And so I was like, that seems like a cool idea for people to, you know, contribute their things to the van that they were wanting to do. I feel like a lot of people live vicariously through a lot of van lifers. Absolutely. And I know I've contributed to a few people's van builds just because you know I've, I've been there and I wanted to help I put up an Amazon wish list and at first it was like a couple coffee mugs like a little kettle um, just a few little things and people started buying them and I was like oh my gosh that's crazy and I've never even thought of this I want to do this now. it's yeah I know it's like super smart for anyone who is building a van or wants to build a van to let people help I know that's kind of um, a, like a, a shameful thing maybe it's hard to it's hard to ask yeah it's hard to ask yeah so, I get it but if people want to help, let them help. I mean, a lot of people, that's what they love to do. So anyway, I put up my Amazon wish list and started putting things on there. I ended up putting my composting toilet on there because I was going to buy it the next week. This is also the list that would remind me to buy things. So somebody so, bought this for you? Is so I put it on my wish list. No Same way. Same day I put it on my wish list, I go back on there and check and someone had bought it off there. No way. And I'm freaking out. I'm like running around the house like, mom, oh my gosh, guess what just happened? Someone bought my toilet. Like, and she was like, it's a toilet. What's the big deal? I'm like, it's a nature's head composting toilet. It's a $900. Big deal. Yeah. yeah. So I had no idea who bought it. Um, it ended up taking like a couple months to arrive because they were back ordered. Once I got it, I put out um, an Instagram story saying like, I need to know who got this for me so I can like personally thank you. And this guy messaged me and he was like, hey, I bought that for you. I honestly just wanted to see something of mine in the van. Um, and Aww. it makes me really happy that I got to help. And now well, we're friends, like we talk and he's a great guy. If I would have gotten the toilet, I would have had to skimp out on other things in the van. You know, and also there was a person who bought like my water tank and my whole water system for me, my sink. Wow. Like there's been a lot of help and I'm extremely thankful for it. Like I didn't expect that when I first got the van. Wow. And the fact that people have been so willing to help has been like the dream. That's so, awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thankful. So yeah, my TikTok has been awesome. Also connected with a few other van lifers, which has been really cool. Um, are you eventually going to try and put a door there? Or yeah, what do you, okay. so I'm just going to attach a door to the drawer slides. Um, one thing just, at a time. One, yeah, exactly. It's just <laughs> it's just something that wasn't essential before I left. So I will be making little upgrades in the future, but it'll get me by for now. It's and just, at this point, we're about midway through. Do you, are you comfortable talking about price? Because I get that asked a lot of my videos. Price? Yeah. Something like this, you know, build that you've done that you did yourself and you got some help, I call, yeah. you know, DIY assist, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. What was your, you know, rough price on what you spent? So the total cost of the van is around 9,000. Okay. Um, but like I said, there was a lot of help with that. And some so donations or whatever. Donations, con contributions, contributions to the van. Yeah. So the total that I spent was probably like 7,500, maybe 7,000. Oh, 9,000 is actually included what people spent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's so really nice. It's a pretty budget build. Oh, I wow. Mean, I was an, like ended up saving on some stuff. Um, I was able to reach out to some companies that wanted to send me something like Moonshade. Um, I don't have the awning yet, but Moonshade has amazing awnings and they're sending me one nice. um, to put on the van. It's like sticks on with magnets. So Whoa. that's awesome. I still have money to spare to travel. And, nice. Yeah. So let me ask you about your layout. What, what made you come up with this layout? Cause you have um, yeah. kind of a, not, I don't want to say small galley, but you have a galley and you have an L bench. Yes. Okay. So when I was designing the van, what was really important to me was I wanted a space to sleep, okay. I wanted a space to work, and I wanted a space to cook. When I was de designing the van, I was like, okay, I need a bed, and I don't want to work all the time in my bed, uh -huh. and so I need a couch. And I am not one to make my bed every day, so I didn't want to do the <laughs> dinette, um, because I, you're never I, gonna I do just it. knew I was never going to do right. it, you know? I don't even make my bed at home every day. So this works for me, and this is a queen-size bed but it's not a queen size bed yet. So let me show you how that works. So this style was um, built by Eamon and Beck. You probably know their channel. If anyone has ever seen a YouTube van video, you know Eamon and Beck. Yeah, they're they my competition. Like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I love Eamon and Beck. Love they're great. They're so awesome. They're a great couple. So basically, I just pull this up. Pull my I actually did up. not even know that this yeah. existed. You did not tell me I about it. this. And I usually, um, if I'm by myself, I just sleep sideways and it works perfectly. But if I have friends in here, this is really nice. Have you hosted anybody? 
Um, yeah, my friend Olivia stayed with me one night, but she's short. So oh, I think I do that. remember that. You post on your stories. Yeah, yeah. she's awesome. I love her. Yeah, seriously. Hi, Liv. <laughs> um, so this comes out. This. And you oh, designed and engineered this yourself? Yes, I did all of this myself. So I have sliders. comes out like this. Oh. Yep, and then this cushion just goes back on there. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question that might bring some flashbacks to you. Oops, yeah, go ahead. Uh, how many tears did this bring when you were kind of going through the process of it? <laughs> oh. How did I know this? How did I know that? The measurements. <laughs> oh my gosh, the measurements. Okay. Figuring out how high the bed needed to be from the ground <laughs> for this to be this width, yep. for my bench to be the height it needed to be, for the cushion to be the height it needed to be. Oh, the, I'm so glad you're saying draining, this. Draining, absolutely draining. Pork. The frame actually didn't take me that long. Uh -huh. The planning for the bed frame took me a long time. It wasn't miserable, but it was definitely not the funnest time I've had in my but life. But aren't you happy that you did the, I talk about I this a lot on my channel, that yeah. the, the planning of it is the most important thing. Yeah, exactly, no, I love I did it this way. And so this come, ends up coming out and, now it's a full queen size bed. So that is like what, 80 inches or whatever that is front to back? It's like 76 and it's super easy to do. It takes me like five minutes. And like I said, I don't do it all the time, but it is really nice to have if I'm gonna sleep multiple people, so. And that, if anybody's asking over there guys, is her, the top of her lagoon. Yes, this is my lagoon. I was debating doing butcher block, but I didn't want an inch and a half of countertop because yeah. I was trying to save space. So it's three quarter inch pine board, um, just stained, sealed. And it works great, it looks good, and that's the same pine board. It's like 30 bucks at Lowe's. Awesome. Yeah, so that's like things I save money on where Butcher Block is like $200 for that. Uh, at um, least. At least, uh, yeah. At least. Exactly, so. Uh, and it happy. weighs a ton. Yeah, and this is super, this is super light. light. Yeah. yeah. This, I am so happy that you went through this process because it seems like you learned a lot oh just gosh. about different woods, about, yeah. you know, engineering things, you know, figuring out dimensions, all that stuff. It's been so fun and it's, I, love learning new things um so even through all the tears yeah would you do it again oh yeah yeah i think it'll take me a while to answer. like recharge a little bit <laughs> but i do plan on like living in this for maybe a year maybe two years um and then building another van maybe in the future you know we're gonna touch upon uh something as you're putting this all back yeah. um uh, maybe uh, enough people don't talk about this uh -huh. is safety yeah especially if you're traveling solo as a female oh my gosh yeah i mean yeah solo as a female and to be honest with you i've had scary moments yeah. where i i get scared too. you have an interesting uh safety mechanism yes okay. what do you got so this was um a contribution from my mom to the van she probably wouldn't have left me let me leave without this okay <laughs> my mom and i are really close but for the van i chose simply safe so I also have other methods of protection that aren't. Um, we're safe. not going to talk about those. We won't talk about them. <laughs> simply safe right here. So how that works is I have. Let me grab my key fob right here. Okay. So it comes with a base station, and this is what everything is connected to. And then I have a keypad right here. And so. Oh, cool. I have latches on. And it says it's off right now. Um, I have latches on all my doors, where if the doors are opened and the system is armed, it'll set off an alarm. And if that alarm gets triggered, I have 30 seconds to type in the pin or else it alerts my mom and then me and then the police. And then they'll send them to my current location. You are only the second van lifer that, I, that I've seen in person. I've seen other yeah. ones, but in person it has a Simply Safe system. Yeah, I've seen a few RVers do it. Yep. Um, I can't have a camera connected to it because it needs Wi-Fi, but this itself um, so it's on a subscription and it has its own cellular. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. You don't need to have Wi-Fi for this little guy. The one downside I'd say is that to charge it, you have to have the inverter running. It barely pulls anything. Right. And um, like it's off right now, so it's not pulling anything. But the inverter itself does have like an, a charge that happens when you turn it on and leave it running. Without it plugged in, how Without it plugged it? in, um, it's set for power outages. So it has a rechargeable battery in it and that lasts 24 hours. And since we're talking about it, you you do have power in here. Obviously, we're running lights, we're running other refrigerator and yeah. everything else. What do you have for power? Cause... And so for power, I have a... We can actually go to the back and talk about it. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, it's a little noisy outside, but we're going to figure it out. I have a 200 amp hour battery. I have 200 watts of solar on top and then a 200 amp hour deep cycle AGM um, that goes through a charge controller into some breakers and I did all of everything myself. Yeah. I spent weeks in here just sitting and looking at it, not doing anything, just looking at like, what, what do I even do? Like I had no idea. And so yeah. figuring that out was like really, really tough, but really rewarding. It's daunting. Yeah. It's daunting. Yeah. And then I have a 1000 watt inverter. 
Okay. And another way to charge my battery is I have a Sterling 30 amp B2B, which okay. is an alternator to battery charger. You want, you want to open up the other door and you can kind of show me what's in your back here? Yes. You have so, a lot of stuff going on. This is all my camping stuff. Um, like I said- This I'm, dull tub? Pretty much. Okay. Um, I'm really into like camping, backpacking, hiking, climbing. This is my big outdoor van. It has like propane, jet oil, tent, sleeping bag, backpack, all that fun stuff. And then right here, I have my traction boards and a shovel in case I get stuck. Yep. Um, which are awesome. They're just from Amazon. You don't need the expensive Max tracks. Get the cheap ones because they work. <laughs> And then I have a 15 gallon water tank right here, which okay. is also off Amazon. Um, this right here is just the vent tube. This is, it's Beautiful. not completely organized yet, but like I said, it works. It's pretty darn good. All right, let's go back inside. I find it interesting that not only uh, do you play the ukulele, but you play other instruments. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, can okay, you please I show have us? I to show you guys the cutest guitar. It's tiny and it's van sized, which I should have done. Okay. <laughs> you called it van sized. It's van sized. It's my van. That's a guitar. Theater. It's not a ukulele. It's not a ukulele. It's a guitar. It's six strings. Um, I need to get it restrung because it goes out of tune a lot. It's obviously not in tune right now. It uh, works. It's, and it's it just awesome. fits right back here. Um, that is like odd, awesome. awesome. I, I, I mean, I just like the, like the darker wood tones to it. And, and I got it because it matches my roof. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Boom. I love it. I have smoke detectors up here. And then. And you have a carbon monoxide one too. Carbon monoxide right? detector right there. Cool. Right in front of the heater just in case. See my lagoon table. And I, please actually, I do want to touch upon, um, Abby did it right where she put the smoke detectors up high. Yes and the carbon monoxide down low. Yes. So, so for anybody that is interested in that, mm -hmm. thank you, Abby. So carbon monoxide um, falls and smoke rises. rises. And so if I were to put the carbon monoxide up here, it probably wouldn't detect it. So this lagoon table is just on a mount and I can actually take this one off too. I was just a little bit lazy. Um, oh, dang, it's okay. Yeah, so then it just goes on right here and I just tighten it down right here. And so I can sit here, do my work. I can raise it up actually right here. Um, and what, what do you do for work? Yeah, so I'm a photographer. Um, and, a, shoot, and a darn good one, too. Thank you. Um, I shoot portraits, weddings, and couples. You can find me on Instagram. My photography Instagram is abigailmartin.co. I've been doing that for three years now, and I love it. It's like a dream job for me. I love um, it so I'm filming you with a Sony right now, and yeah. we don't like each other because you shoot with because a... I shoot with Canon. <laughs> I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark IV and a 6D Mark II, so... She's a good photographer. She's living in a van. <laughs> you play instruments. Yeah, I uh, love it. It's I believe you know how to so play the piano, you said? Yeah, piano, ukulele, guitar, a little bit of violin. And now you're traveling, yeah. and you're, you're a climber. I climb. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I do a lot of, that's kind of why I got the van, is most of my life revolves around the outdoors. I mean, I always shoot in the outdoors for photography whenever I'm doing shoots. And I also do a lot of hiking, backpacking, climbing, mountain biking, like everything outdoors. It fits with my lifestyle really well. And to follow this lifestyle, just give us um, your your pages and your the way to get a hold of you one more time before yeah. we end this. Yeah, so my Instagram is Abigail H. Martin, but you can just type in Abigail Martin and it'll come up. And then my TikTok is Abigail Martin. Uh, and you're going to be doing a YouTube. We already yes. discussed this. You're talking yes. about doing I will it. Be, I already have videos edited. I just have yet to make my channel, put up my videos, but it will be under Abigail Martin. And then I'll just be doing, you know, vlogs of my trip, um, different van videos like about the van, but I also want to do, you know, lifestyle videos talking about climbing and hiking. Backpacking. Abby, you have a phenomenal story. Thank you. you know, for somebody that's you know only been here for 19 years, I'm I'm astonished and I'm amazed and you know hopefully that this is our new generation. I love it. I but thank you. There's so many like-minded people that I'm so excited to meet too. I mean yeah. that's a big reason I'm on the road too is just to meet new people and get involved in a new community and experience things like in a new way and kind of just experience life at like the fullest extent. I feel like being yeah. super close to everything I love. It was a pleasure hanging out with you and talking to you and so much this fun. This so fun. If you guys want to follow her, give her a follow. Check out her van life. This is day two of van living. Day two. <laughs> day two of full-time van life. So, so far, nothing has gone terribly wrong. Under $10,000. Yeah. Like, unbelievable, and guys. I need. All right, guys. We'll see you guys soon. You see want ya. Some <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>